Hey folks, uh, welcome back. Uh, the wonderful thing about the internet is I can show you something and you don't have to be in the room while I spew contagion throughout the atmosphere. Um, what I thought was just going to be a, a simple sinus thing is not. Um, I feel like the, the big poo poo. Um, but I wanted to show you something um, before I collapsed back onto the couch. Um, we're getting towards the bottom of my my bottle here and uh, and I want to show you something that you might run into and and what it probably is. If you can see right here there's a line. It's right there. It's kind of hard to see but there's a definite streak going with the grain and there's a couple more over here if I can get the shiny spot there we go if I can get the shiny spot in the right place there they are and what that is are these little teeny tiny crystals that come down off of the true oil <coughs> and it doesn't take much of one, but when I'm doing my finish, my last finish um, wiping down, that little kind of crystal drags across and it makes those little areas. Now it's not, it's not a major disaster because it's, true oil is not like, it's not like nitro. I'm not melting one coat into the next coat or laying, um, coats on top of each other which is why I um, I scrub it up um, for each um, uh, each application so what I'll do is with that white pad pay a little bit more attention to these areas and kind of flatten them out uh, and then when I go back over it with the next coat then it'll be fine um, so that's just something that's just something to, to look for um, when you're using true oil um, if you've got uh, if you've got maybe some cheesecloth or if you I don't know maybe if you apply um, the true oil through a cloth so that it catches those little those little nuggets um, then you'll kind of save yourself the, the process there so all right, that's about all the productivity I'm gonna I'm gonna have today. Um, so uh, have a good weekend, and if you run into someone that sounds like me, stay away from them because they're the bad juju. All right, cheers, folks. Hey, if you've enjoyed this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, you might want to check out the videos below. Also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to us over on the YouTube. You can friend us over on the Facebook, and you can follow us on the Instagram as well as the Twitter. See you next time. Thanks for watching the train wreck. Cheers.